as we fly down through the skies I'm gonna welcome everyone to this new video of mine so I'm currently playing Fortnite as you can tell 50 versus 50 mod and I want to welcome everyone to the hit kids well I'm gonna call this the hit kids random rant or I I'm gonna call it something I've, got I've not thought of a name for this series yet don't worry a name will be incoming but I want to welcome everyone to this new series I am currently doing, which is, it, it, it's a bit like a rant series, so plain and simple. So, I guess I should explain, plain and simple, if something's pissed me off, I'm going to come on here, play a random game of 50 vs 50 Fortnite, and just go off on something. This time, like, I'm, I'm using it as a, like, a little bit of a hit kids rank corner, compared to, like, me kill corner streams. Where I stream, uh, I stream for people, just for fun. This is more like a rant. And boy, do I know where I'm going with this first rant. So, yeah, that's what these random Fortnite videos are going to be. They're going to be like random Fortnite, Fortnite hit kid rants. I've not thought of a name for the series. It will come to me. I may ask suggestions on Twitter and Facebook. Which, by the way, new Facebook, I will be linking that to the new YouTube page later on today. But anyway, let me let me get off. Let me get off. The rant I'm talking about today, it's kind of an obvious one. Everyone knows I'm a wrestling fan. Everyone knows I'm a big time wrestling fan. So this rant won't surprise anyone. The rant I want to talk about today, and the thing I want to rant on today. Is the upcoming SummerSlam 2018 main event. The joy of seeing Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for, I believe, one-on-one. -on -one. I believe this will be the fourth singles encounter. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But when it comes to singles matches, I believe this is Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for... Let me just say, I'm not happy. I'm not happy we're getting this match again. And it's... And, I, and I'm not even going to blame Roman. Although... Although I agree with the general public on the statement that Roman has been, in a sense... And I and, I, and this is mean of me. Shoved down her throats as the guy. He's not the one to blame for this. It's the booking what's to blame. The booking's the one to bl blame for this. Because here's the deal. This match shouldn't have even reached a fourth match. We shouldn't even be having this match. We really shouldn't have even been having the match at the Greatest Royal Rumble. The cage match at the Greatest Royal Rumble. We shouldn't have ever had either one of these matches. This Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns thing should have ended at WrestleMania. But it didn't. Why did it not end? Because I think they tried I think they decided to put Roman Brock on one more time. Of the greatest Royal Rumble for a money grab, yet you still have Brock retained off a botched steel cage call. Brock Lesnar barely has an interest in WWE anymore. I mean, the Universal title with him has gone down to be a complete joke. I mean, he's barely ever fucking gone raw. No disrespect, but it's true. And the Universal title, what's supposed to be that brand's major title, is barely ever seen. I mean, it's a fucking joke. The Universal title is, I don't want, I, I hate saying this word, irrelevant. It is irrelevant. And yes, that might be harsh, but I don't care. That's what it is. It is irrelevant. That's what the Universal title has become, irrelevant under Brock Lesnar. Because it's barely seen on the show anymore. But then... But here's the deal, the crowd won't accept Reigns because of the way he's booked. I mean, if you look at Roman Reigns, I think, I, we all know that with Roman Reigns, if I over pushing him as the guy in a sense, trying to make him, let's be honest, trying to make him the next John Cena do do you way. One, he doesn't have the look of John Cena. I'm sorry, Cena's one of those guys you can get behind. And, you, and also, Cena's earned his graft. You need to remember, before Cena went in and you know immediately went to the top he spent a good i think it was like three years 
uh, with his original heel run and then the United States title run before he got the WWE Championship. I think it was three or four years Cena spent before he got the push to be the guy. Reigns has only had like one, I think it was one year's shield, like the shield went for like two years, but that was part of a group. And that group was cool. But the biggest mistake they made with Reigns is they're trying to push him as this overpopular babyface. Roman Reigns does not have the look of a babyface. It is, it is such a clear statement to make. He does not have the look of a face. Roman Reigns should have, and, and this has been uh, years spoke about, been a heel. Reigns is a natural heel. You can tell with Roman Reigns, you make that man heel, you've got guys here. It's like they're all at the entrance of Tomato Town. Twenty one and he's well he's wounded. Yeah, yeah they're not just fight back with that. No we didn't. Where is he? Where is he? Twenty three. Some good shooting here from yours truly. Haha, I got a part of fall up, you motherfucker. Lost it all. Great. That's not good. I need to figure out a way down. Slide down. But like Roman Reigns doesn't have the look of pure babyface. It has to be said. Roman Reigns when the shield. I, I, I like. I, I'll admit the Seth Rollins heel turn was really good. But let's be fair. Let's be fair. When they broke up the shield, they should have had Roy Reigns for the heel. Oh, you should have had it, Reigns at least try to have been a tweener. Like, I think you should have had Reigns as the authorities guy. I'll say it. Reigns should have been the uh, main go-to man for the authority. Because then you would have had a really special heel here. Like, think of The Rock back in the early 90s when he was a heel. I mean, The Rock was money as a heel. We all remember Rocky. We all remember Na Corporation Rock. I mean, it's how he got over as a face. I mean, the Rock as a heel, Rock's heel work got him over as a face. It has to be said. And yet, people don't appreciate that. I'm like, no. <sighs> And yet, no people. Three bitch. Eat grenades, motherfucker. And yet, people won't respect this because the trying to build him as this over baby, baby, baby face. Oh shit, that's me dead. Wow. Guy just cleared out everyone. I've got to give him credit. If I can get out of here, I can actually get out of here without dying, hopefully, and keep this, keep alive. But, like, you're trying to build Reigns up as this overbearing baby face. Oh, come on, dude, dude. Hey, give me up, give me up. Give me up. Give me up. You're trying to build Reigns as this baby baby face, and it's not worked. It hasn't worked for the past couple of years. I mean, think back to his Royal Rumble win where he got booed out of the building. Think back to when... Think back to this year's WrestleMania, where he got chanted, this is awful. Plus, you had, plus you had him beat Taker. And in a sense, even though he didn't retire on the Taker, we thought we got the sense he retired Taker. I mean, that was not a good move for Roman Reigns' character as the babyface. I mean, like, it, it was stupid, if I'm being honest. WWE's booking decisions with Roman Reigns have always been... And this is no disrespect to Reigns at all, because Reigns is a, I'm going to be clear here, and people can fight me head off for this, whatever. Reigns is a hell of a wrestler. If they would let Roman Reigns wrestle more freely, he would be one of the top... He is... He would be one of the top wrestlers in WWE. Because the man has the big, big man moveset. 
And I, I remember his NXT matches. The guy was, the guy is naturally athletic, and has this, and has this damn power game. Yet WWE are too fucking busy giving him this stereotypical moveset. And I'm gonna say that it's stereotypical. It's usually drive by, the old power bomb, the old power move, the flying clotheslines. It's a bit like John Cena when he was back in the Five Moves of Doom years. Reigns is like the three moves of Doom. It's like the drive by, the Samoan drop, the flying clothesline, Superman Munch and Spear. Let Reigns open up on his wrestling. Like, the guy has so much more to give. And he has the look of a heel. Like, the, 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 the urge I have said for the past two years is turn Roman Reigns heel. Oh my god. There's only, in my opinion, but, like, it's outrageous, but to stay on topic, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar in Brooklyn. You really should have got this storm out of the way at WrestleMania in New Orleans. You should have got the storm out of the way. But, now you're going to incur, in my opinion, an even worse storm in Brooklyn. I mean, no disrespect, but it's true. Uh, if, if, like, you like to call fans smarts, you know smart, like the fans who take it dead dead seriously. I'm a, I'm one, I'm, I'm a smart, so I've watched wrestling for, god, 17 years, 17 to 18 years of my life. And yet, here we go, you're doing this match in Brooklyn. The New York fan base is a pretty savage fan base, oh, up there with Philadelphia and Chicago. And also, I would say here in the UK, we are probably some of the most savage fan bases. And Canada. We are some of the most savage fan bases for letting our opinions be heard. And yet, here you are doing Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for in Brooklyn, New York. And the night before is NXT's, like, WrestleMania event with NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Are you not expecting the crowd to eat this alive? Like, I, if we thought WrestleMania was bad, which it was, by the way, I mean, the, I have never heard this is awful chance for a WrestleMania main event. That's a pretty much disgrace. And the main event was awful. And I, and I will admit, the last match between... The cage match was all right, but the main event between Brock and Roman at Mania was awful. Not only because Brock won. Brock should be gone. Brock should be now focused on UFC and getting his ass kicked by Daniel Cormier. Yeah, I said it. But the main event of Mania was 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 terrible. I'm gonna say it, it was terrible. Because then he had this Roman Reigns redemption act, yet he still couldn't beat Brock. And that was after Brock hit an a, an ungodly amount of F5s. Like it was seven F5s and it couldn't keep it was six F5s. I believe it was seven in the end, which was the magic number to keep Roman down, but like that took any realism out of it because Brock had been putting people down with like one or two F5s. You know, before the before the pay-per-view <laughs> in previous title defenses, yet you had Roman kick out of six. I mean, that was an overbutton mess. You had the blood, which was well, some people say it was a work, some people say it was hard way. Which was a cool touch, but it was just trying to get the sympathy for Roman. And I hate to say it, you're not gonna get sympathy for Roman Reigns. You're just not. Not with this, not with us anymore. I think the trying to get sympathy for Roman Reigns bandwagon has well and truly passed its days. I mean, good God. Like, that's really one thing I will say. And, 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 and that's no disrespect to Roman, but it's just the way you've been booked, mate. The way you've been booked has been fucking awful, which is true. And we don't feel sorry for any ass kickings you get these days. Because, and the reason why I don't think the public feels sorry for Roman Reigns is because, well, he is a company man. And, and you've got to praise Reigns for that. But, like, Roman should have maybe, in a sense, Duracy took a stand or at least given some creative things. Because all we see Roman Reigns for is this, I'm the guy stooge. And, that, and that's brutal. We know Brock doesn't give a shit about WWE anymore. We know for a fact he doesn't. Uh, and, and, I, and I and I don't care. And I and I generally, I am generally fearful that I I think this SummerSlam main event is going to go down as one of the worst in history. I'm going to say it. I don't expect a good match. 
And I, I, I mean, after the Mania, who's going to trust these two to pull on a good match anymore? No one. And not only that, here's the other thing, and, and, and this is where I'm going to end. Here. There's only, in my opinion, two ways to save this match. One is to turn Roman Reigns heel by having Paul Heyman align with him. Or two is probably money in the bank cashing by either the winner of Kevin Owens, Braun Strowman. Because here's the thing. Brooklyn is a vicious crowd. And if you end SummerSlam having Roman Reigns finally have top Brock Lesnar, you're, all you're, going, you're not going to hear any cheers. Let me be clear. You're not going to hear any cheers. You'll hear, I'll be shocked if you hear any cheers. I think there's more chance of, uh, of, a, of a, what do you call it, another eclipse happening than, uh, like, we had a blood moon, didn't we, a few days ago. We're probably, there's more chance of that happening again this year than there is of Roman Reigns being cheered in Brooklyn. Zero. Roman Reigns has absolutely no chance of being cheered in Brooklyn. No chance. Like, you might hear the sound guys try and produce the cheats, but... My god, the dubbing of booze they'll have to do on the next night of Raw because he's going to get booed at the fucking building. And that's really all I can say to it. You either have the money in the bank cash in or you turn Roman heel. Because if you turn Roman heel and partner him with Heyman, then the booze actually become approval. Because I think that's a money combination we do we should work on. Especially if I believe Heyman has gone into now starting writing Raw. I think that's something you should work on with Raw for years to come. But that's where I'm going to end this this rant over the Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns match. Give me your opinions on it. I am I'm looking forward to Summer Slam as an event as a wrestling fan, as I'll always watch them. But I'm definitely fearful and worried about this main event because my God, do I think it's going to get shit on. That's all I've got time for. I've been the Hit Kid James Needham. With, uh, I guess we'll call this a Hit Kid rant. I'll think of a name for the series. And I'll speak to you all later. Peace out.